want to record, but I don't want to cut the song off. Okay. <laughs> So in today's video, I want to get a lot more into my photography um, as well as my videography. I shared some things that I did like two or three years ago on here. If you see my earlier videos, that's basically what that is. I used to do videos on editing and also how I just edit. So for this video, I really want to talk about my photography history, how I got into photography as well as how I got into videography and film. I just kind of give you a little backstory on uh, me and me and photography and how I got into photography and how I fell in love with photography and how I still do photography and all that So Stay tuned. So first things first, how I got into photography. So when I was in like the 11th grade, I had a teacher um, who was my art teacher as well as my uh, photography teacher. I didn't really know at the time that this, my school even had a photography program. Um, I just kind of ended up in it somehow through my scheduling. So um, I had that class and I fell in love with it. I learned a lot of basics, a lot of um, basic knowledge about how cameras work, ISOs and f-stops and all that stuff, how that plays into it. Um, I basically learned a lot about cameras, so I learned a lot about Canon cameras. Now Canon is a product that I kind of started with, I, I could say grew up with. My first camera was a Canon, um, and all my cameras since then have been, I like Canon products, I like their cameras. For me, their picture is just a lot more sharper than other um, companies out there. Have these Nikon and they are really good too, um, it's just I've always kind of preferred to use Canon. So. All right, y'all, sorry, I had a call. Um, the first camera that I started off with was a, a Canon PowerShot, I believe. Um, it was a camera that my teacher had gave me in, in high school, so I was kind of just renting it out for my school. But after high school, I kind of took a year off for, for college. I still didn't know what I wanted to do. And after that, I kind of just started taking a lot more pictures. Um, that's the time where I moved to Georgia, so there was a lot of nature pictures that I was taking. Um, a lot of just random model pictures that I was taking and I kind of just built up a portfolio from there. So that's when I felt um, more confident to going into photography and having photography as something that I wanted to do. I kind of just re-evaluated what I wanted to do, especially for my finances. I didn't want to go to school and have a big debt. So I told myself, okay, you know what? My best bet um, was just go to a community college just because I did not have a lot of funds to go to a big university at that time. So community college just had to do. Um, I went to community college for two years. They didn't have a photography major, but they did have film. So that's when I went into film more. I got a lot of film history. Most of my community college years were based on uh, film history as well as getting the regular basis of college. After that, um, I decided to go to top university in Georgia. And that's when I went more into film. And four years later, I got a degree in film. So kind of my, I guess, passed on how I started photography and videography. After college, I did a lot, a lot, a lot of internships. I did so many internships, it's crazy. Some were paid for, some weren't. But majority, if not all of those, internships did have perks with it. So I photographed for online boutiques, Instagram boutiques. I have photographed for events, uh, festivals. I have photographed for bloggers, entrepreneurs. Um, a lot of that helped me to create an even bigger portfolio in something that I'm still growing now. After all those internships, I did start doing freelance work. Most of these um, freelance jobs were for families. And that's when I went into doing kid photography, doing baby photography, because I kind of learned with my niece. So um, during my internship time and my freelance time, I did learn a lot and I uh, grow my portfolio a lot. Currently now, I am working for a photography company, uh, photography studio, and I have been with them since the beginning of this year. That's where I am now, life after film school, I guess. Um, so now I kind of just want to talk to you about um, things that you probably need if you're a beginner photographer or if you're going into photography, even if you're going into Instagram photography. Just some of the bases you need. These bases helped me out a lot when I, when I started photography. So 
just you know I'm just show y'all some basics some stuff that I have yeah and all that so first I'm gonna get a sip of this tea because the girl's out of breath already she needed that let's get into the gear that I have I guess I'm gonna start off with the camera I've had three cameras in my life I've had the Canon power shot that I told you about I've also had the Canon T5 I um, that one I sold in the summer of last year I did get a new one I have the Canon 80D and this is how it looks Canon 80D I've had this camera for about a year and some change oh no two years this camera for about two years it has done me very well um, I love it it does have the screen that flips out and you can twist it all the way around well not all the way around but you can twist it around and also it's touch screen so I'm probably not going to upgrade. I would do though is get a water lens. If you have a camera and you want a different type of lens or you want to try um, a tripod or something, I would suggest trying an Aperture Rent. I know there's one here in Georgia. Um, I'm not sure about all their other locations, but anytime I need a lens um, that is a little bit wider than this, I will contact them and rent it. You can rent it for three days. You can rent it for five days. They even give you some leniency with holidays. Aperture Rent, um, I will leave a link below or I'll leave a link right here. They are amazing for if you need to rent something out and if you need to rent something out at a cheap price, at a good price, you know that it's really good quality. So, showed you the camera and I'm gonna show you my tripod. Tripod I got from Amazon. It was about $60, $60 or $70. Um, I am 5'9", it needs me to like right here. So I would say it's about five feet, five feet six or something like that. It is a really good um, tripod. It is a zoomy tripod. And I think they even have different colors. I honestly thought that this color was red, but it's more of like a reddish rustic orange or whatever. Um, but it's not a bad color, I like it. I get a ton of compliments when I'm working with this, when I'm out, um, people just say, oh, how you know manageable it is to just put it up and then take it right back down. And it really is. It is really easy for if you, you are constantly on the go or if you are a um, event photographer. This is bomb for that. Next thing you need um, that I'll always use is another thing that you will always need is a backup drive. Now, I just got this backup drive. I needed a new one um, after my computer in the back crashed. You can see right there. It's that box right there. It was an HP desktop. And I had it for five years, but beginning of last week, it started crashing, and I lost all of my files on that computer. I'm so mad about it, but I'm trying to be cool about it. But yes, you will need a backup hard drive. Um, this one, I just got from Amazon. Um, I forgot the uh, actual size of this, but I'll probably put it somewhere over here, and I'll show you the size of um the storage of this and it's not apple i just wanted to put the apple stick on there but um but yeah this is really good you will need this to have um it's not best to keep them just on your computer so i would encourage you to get a um, hard drive some type of hard drive some type of storage drive to put all of your photos in and all of your backup photos in so this is a good one too too all right so light so i've had a lot of lights so i've had green lights I've also had umbrella lights, which I'm about to show you. I will show you the ring light, but it's broken boot, so I can't show you that, but I'll show you these uh, umbrella lights that I have, which I also got from Amazon as well. A lot of these things will be from Amazon because I got a lot of my stuff from Amazon. Amazon is always cheap, number one. Number two, it's good for if you're looking for like basic stuff, so. All right, so this is the ring light that I have. It goes like that. There we go. A... This is not, did I say ring light? This is an umbrella light. Oh. Uh, big folds. With some big folds like this. And that's, that's the logo for that. If you ever want to get a big fold. So it came with that and then it also came with a tripod. Just put the umbrella up there and then it's the tripod. So I've used those twice. One, when I was working for um, an Instagram model. We were doing a little makeshift studio at her apartment. Um, and then I also used it um, outside once, which I really enjoy using them outside. They are really good if you want to use them for night. Um, it also did have a screen for the uh, light as well. So it wasn't just the light and then the, the umbrella. No, it has a screen on there as well as white. 
Um, I also have a reflector, and I should have added that to my list. I actually have it in the closet. I do not feel like enough. Uh, one side is silver and one side is gold. Um, obviously, that's really good for if you're outside and you need to get some shine on the subject. You can just turn the reflector towards the sun, and the sun will start reflecting onto your subject. So, another thing you will need is either a laptop or an iPad. If you are someone who edits a lot, the time needs to edit on the go, I would highly suggest either a laptop or um, a tablet. This is an iPad, um, which also is really good because I can download Lightroom. Um, I edit a lot through Lightroom as well as uh, Visco. I also have a video of me editing through both of those apps. It'll be up here. It's, what is it called? Oh, I was answering questions and also editing at the same time. So, Please check that one out. I'll probably do another edit with me video really soon. Next thing you will need, especially if you're doing Instagram photos, is a phone stand. Um, I have this phone stand, which I'm actually going to show you. Or I'll put a video, I'll insert the video here. Also got it from Amazon. Again, I love getting my stuff from Amazon. A lot of my um, gear is from Amazon besides my camera. So Amazon is literally your best bet for if you want to get things at a good quality but still a low price. The next thing I would suggest you get is backup batteries for your um, camera. I can't tell you how many times I've went to an event and my battery ran low so I had to stop what I was doing to charge it. It's just, it's too much. So I will highly suggest getting a backup battery for your camera um, or for anything that uh, requires you to have a battery and you're filming on or you're taking photos on. Make sure the equipment that you have is on, it is ready to go um, and all that stuff. So the next thing I will actually suggest for you, especially if you're doing Instagram photos, is to have a remote. This um, phone stand actually came with a remote, um, and this is how it looks. Um, so definitely have a remote with you, um, so that way you don't need anyone to kind of take your photo. You can kind of look at it and just kind of press the button. Um, if you need to put the timer on, it'll still work with the timer. So and definitely have a remote with you. And yeah, so there's a lot of other things um, you will probably need once you start doing photography. You will realize what you need for yourself, what you need to have on hand for yourself. Um, if you know of anything that I've missed, if you know of any equipment that beginners should have outside of what I've listed, please leave them below. Let the community know. Um, and yeah, so that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was not all over the place. Um, still trying to get myself together after this new moon. Um, a lot of things happened. My whole computer crashed back there. I lost all of my data every bit of my data, um, every bit of photos I had. If it wasn't backed up on my old backup drive or my phone, I just completely lost it. Um, but I was able to go out and get a um, iMac computer, which I love a lot more better than HP. I'm still trying to get used to using an iMac. This is the first time I've ever used um, an Apple product outside of um, the iPad or the iPhone. So. Um, I'm still trying to get used to it, but I love it nonetheless. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and do all that jazz. And yeah, I will talk to y'all later. Thank y'all so much for clicking on this video. I love you for doing so. Um, and yeah, have a good day, a good night, um, a good week, a good month, girl. I hope 2020 comes out better for all of us. So, yeah. Alright, talk to y'all later. Bye.